Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk a little bit about cycling your aquarium. Now I'm just going to let you know this shouldn't be your sole source of information. I'm not an expert, so please search around more about this, but I can help you more understand it better. Um, so, how this works is your fish aquarium is an ecosystem, and there has to be some type of decomposing of the waste. Um, so the fish produce ammonia. Their waste breaks down to ammonia, and when they breathe the water, they exhale ammonia. Kind of like when we breathe, we exhale CO2, and there has to be some way for that CO2 to be converted back into oxygen so we can breathe. So the way it works is there's bacteria in your filter called beneficial bacteria or nitrifying bacteria that break down the ammonia produced by the fish into a less harmful um, less harmful substance called nitrite with an I. Now um, nitrite and ammonia are both very toxic to fish but after it's converted into ammonia I mean excuse me after it's converted into nitrite it's converted into nitrate with an A. Now that is um, less harmful but it can be toxic in high quantities. So what you want to do is get rid of those with water changes. Now, this is how you can get those beneficial bacteria. There's two ways to cycle. You can cycle with fish and you can cycle without fish. Um, a fish-less cycle is most recommended among hobbyists, but I personally have cycled both my tanks with fish. So um, I'm going to tell you how to do that first. So, the way I cycled my tanks is I use a bacteria supplement called Sejum Stability. Now what this is, is a bacteria supplement that you put in your aquarium water and is caught by your filter. So these bacteria will colonize in your filter and when the water is pumped through, they will eat the ammonia and release nitrite. And then they will eat nitrite and release nitrate. Kind of like trees take in CO2 and give off O2, oxygen. So there's directions on this of how much to put in, and you just add that to your tank with um, three or four fish, depending on the size. If you're, doing, if you're doing goldfish, only one goldfish every two to three weeks. But um, I had four of these harlequin rasporas at the start, and I have all four plus an extra three that I bought and they're all living happily and healthily. Um, so I trust Seachem. I trust them with their products. I trust them with their water conditioner Seachem Prime in the red bottle. I highly recommend that also. Um, but back to cycling. Um, so they will colonize in your filter and then that, that means that you never 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 ever want to throw away your filter pad or your bio wheel or in your canister your um, biological media, if you don't know what that is, that's okay, because that's kind of advanced in the hobby. Um, but um, next is a fishless cycle. Um, I personally don't know very much about a fishless cycle, but I'll tell you what I know already. Um, what you want to do is get pure ammonia. I recommend going to Ace Hardware and getting janitorial strength ammonia, because there's no soaps or dyes or perfumes. Then you want to add enough so that um, when you test your water, there's um, two parts per million ppm. And then um, after a while, you'll test again and you'll see it start to go down, and you'll see nitrates. You'll see nit or nitrites, excuse me. You'll see nitrates forming. And then you want to add a little bit more ammonia so it goes back, so the ammonia goes back up to two. And then when you start seeing nitrates. You want to add more ammonia, a little bit more ammonia, um, and then once you see a lot of um, nitrates, then um, that's where my experience um, that's where my experience ends. Um, so if I were you, I highly recommend going to uh, Solid Gold's channel. Solid Gold, she does. She has a goldfish channel. But she knows much more about a fishless cycle than I do. So what you want to do is go to her channel, 
and go to her new her new video as of today, November 26th. Um, and go to her new video called What Pet Stores Don't Tell You Cycling Fish Tank and in her description of that video um, watch it as well, it's a good video um, she has a link to a fishless cycle by uh, goldfishkeepers.com and you'll find way more about that um, on there because I personally don't know all that much about a fishless cycle except for what I just told you um, so go there for a fishless cycle um, you can use my information for a fish in cycle. It's the way I've done it, and I've never lost any fish so far. And this tank has been up for two months, and my goldfish tank has been up for four months. So, um, just a little bit more on uh, the fish in cycle. So, you add the, the beneficial bacteria, the Seachem Stability, the Tetra Safe Start, the Aquion bacteria supplement. There's tons of them. Um, you can get sea jump stability pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, you add that, and you add a couple fish, and you want to do some water tests. I personally have an API master test kit. I trust that. It works great. It has tons of, um, its limit is like, I think there's like 900 tests it comes with. Um, don't quote me on that. But um, if you see any ammonia, um, anything over 0.25 ppm, I'm surprised your fish are alive. But if anything, any trace of ammonia at all, and you want to do a 50% water change, because you cannot have ammonia in your tank. If you have ammonia, your fish are probably on the brink, on the fence, on the edge of death. Um, so optimally, you want to have zero parts per million ppm of ammonia. Um, if you have any nitrite, Anything more than 0.5 or 1 is kind of getting close, and you definitely don't want to have any. So optimally, um, you want to have zero of that also. And if you see any traces of that, do a 30 to 50 percent water change, depending on how high it is. Um, and then in the end, you'll have nitrate, which you want to stay under 20. I personally strive to stay under 10, um, and. By doing that, you keep your fish healthy longer, you'll have them longer, they'll live longer, and they'll love you for it. Um, so you do weekly water changes to do that. You can refer to my um, how to do a water change video from a couple months ago. Um, and just remember, don't overstock your tank because then your cycle won't be able to keep up. So there's my, um, my advice on cycling. Definitely um, use me as a source, but don't use me as your only source. I'm no expert, but um, I'm just telling you my own personal experience. So, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment. Um, criticize if you must. I'm always looking for your opinions and your new information that I could use possibly in the future. Um, so, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks.